Good morning, everyone. This morning, we are at a sidewalk sale at Gift and Thrift. It's a local thrift store here in Sioux Falls. So come on, let's get shopping. Hi, it's Lori from Dakota Relics. Come join me as I travel around the area, searching for treasures that I can buy and then flip for a profit. You'll never know what I find unless you follow me. Come on, let's get shopping. So coming up, we see a lot of dressers. Um, there's actually a hall tree here. My husband's been wanting one of those for the basement. Oh, it's broken though. It's a nice mid-century modern cabinet. Let's see what else we have. Oh, this is a nice jewelry box. Definitely vintage, probably 50s or 60s. Frame has some damage. Oh, we have some jewelry over here. I wish I knew more about jewelry. She's like that chair. Oh, it's very. Nice old cooler. Oh, look at that. I love the inside. It's only $30. Oh, it's got a built-in bottle opener. Uh, I think I might look that up. Some great little uh, foot stools. I might, I mean, see if you would go a little lower on the a little lower on the uh, ther uh, thermos note on the cooler. Yeah, that's true. How about a rabbit? <laughs> Lots of knickknacks, but they're not. They're modern. So today must be the day of old coolers and thermoses. It's by the same brand. It's the same brand. It's nice. So from across the aisle, I saw this crazy quilt. I mean, it's definitely vintage, but it's polyester. Yeah, I think I'll pass on that. A pair of old roller skates. I've sold these before. Lots of cookie cutters, but they're the plastic. It's a vintage wooden folding chair. I do like those. I have a children's one listed. Here's a... I don't know if it's cruel or cross-stitch. It's $18. I like this step stool over here. There's an ice cream chair, ice cream parlor chair. I do like this. This is cute. Oh, that's very cute. Oh, here's one of those little folding chairs. Oh, it's darling. I'll make a depending on how we want to buy. They're cheap. That's a slide over, too. It is. Yeah, yeah. It's very neat. That is cool, right? It is. Some old sewing boxes. <laughs> this is more of a man's booth for sure. Hi, 
do like old boxes. These are reasonably priced, but well, ABC brand seedless raisins. Uh, horse, horse nail company, Hartford, Connecticut. This one is something brewing, St. Paul, Minneapolis. Ooh, I smell some good food. Must be a food truck. Let's see, these are Pyrex, the rainbow colored. $75, but they do have some chips. Not chips, they just have some damage. Oh yeah, that one's really bad. Whole bunch of little roosters and chickens. Those are a dollar a piece. Nine. Metal signs. <laughs> kind of cute. Um. There is a train case over here, but it's $15, and I already have a darker brown that's in much better condition. So I'm gonna pass on that one. Train cases sell well for me. So I decided to go inside. I wasn't finding a whole lot outside. There were things I liked, but um, didn't really pick anything up. So inside the music was so loud that I have to do a voiceover. These vintage clothing um, items, I have been noticing that um, vintage clothing is really starting to become popular. So I do look more and more for vintage clothing. Uh, I see a ceramic Christmas tree. Um, oh, I do like this silver plate cup. I like the design of it. Um, I did look it over, but for $10, I'm not going to make a lot of money on this one. I've been noticing that all thrift stores, um, even good, excuse me, even Goodwill is becoming so expensive. Um, I'm not, I'm not saying anything bad about it. I'm just saying it's harder to find good deals, um, deals where you can actually make some money on. Oh, I loved this little vanity mirror, but it was $30. And once again, you know, I think maybe I could get 45 for it, just not enough money in it for me. This coffee pot threw me. I thought for sure it was going to be Dansk or at least a Scandinavian company that made it. Um, it wasn't. It was a Japanese product. Uh, didn't buy it. I think it was like 30 or 25 or 30 dollars. So not a lot of profit in it. If it would have been Dansk, of course, I would have picked it up. And then, lo and behold, look what I find. It's almost in perfect condition. It is $10. Um, it has the tray. The inside mirror is in perfect condition. Train cases, like I said, sell really well for me. So for $10 and 20% off, I grab this as quick as I could. I love this TV and stand. And I think at $89, it was a really good price. But once again, shipping is going to hold me back on it. Um, it would be a great retro piece for a mid-century modern home. Um, down there, I think I see some... Oh, no, I really like this little sweeper. They don't sell for a lot, so I had to pass, but it's cute. Okay, oh, see the uranium glass? Those would be refrigerator jars. They would all have had lids on them. They didn't, probably why they were only $30. And then of course your standard Corel wear. Um, it does sell, but I just really don't wanna take my time shipping it for the little profit I would make. So just a short ways from my house, there is an estate sale. So we're gonna go and run through there, see if there's anything good. Oh, Lots of Frank Oma. Unless it's a really unusual piece, I generally don't buy it. 
Oh, 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 Incense burner. I thought it was a flower frog. A lot of little jars of sand. I'm not sure what that's about. I like this. They're in the fridge. Yeah. In a black bag. It's like a little red enamel key pack. So much jewelry. No, 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 no. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. No idea why that's seventy five dollars. Oh, some fancy curtains. Lots of bedding. This is the second day of the sale, so not gonna bet these are feather. Yes. Hmm. See if there's any vintage clothing. Well, that's a little fancy duster. Let's see. Oh, it's a long sleeve duster. Oh, look at this. It's a little Annie's dress. Ugh, it'll be hard to get back up. Okay. Let's see. Look at logs. I don't know. Just like McDonald's toys. Oh, some baby dresses. Napkins. Cute. Okay, now for the holiday room. Um... Not a lot of vintage holiday either. It's holiday, lots of it. And now more fabric and linens. And again, nothing really old. It is very warm. There are books all over the place and they've priced them all individual. I would not want to do that.
This is the one thing I think I'm going to get. These enamel little children's cups are actually made in Sweden. And they're only a dollar a piece. So I think I could get all four. And probably the plate for six dollars. Oh, Mallory. This is what my daughter has been wanting. I should probably buy it for her. <laughs> she would love it. So I did pick this up at the sidewalk sale. It was $10, but 20% off, so it uh, cost me about $8.50. I bought this set of Swedish enamelware for children at the estate sale, and I believe my total on the two plates and four cups was um, $5.53. So these items I picked up at a garage sale. This is a wooden flashlight, and I ended up having to post it on a Facebook group that I'm in, and it actually turned out to be Finnish, a railroad transport flashlight, probably from about the 1940s. Also at the same garage sale, this uh, plastic headboard lamp, I paid $5 for it. I think I have it listed right now at 65 on Etsy. This group of Chinese mud men, I paid a dollar for, and I sold them for $37 within 24 hours. So I also went to an estate sale, but the estate sale was run by a family, not by a company. And I found the most amazing fashions. This first one is a muumuu from Missy Lane, but with a designer print from Mark Selden. All of these items I paid $10 for, and I think I have this one currently listed for 85. This is a 1960 gold metallic fabric with black, silver, and gold brocade. But the best part of it is that there are hot pants underneath it. Another gold metallic, but this is in a tunic style, zips all the way up and there are trousers or pants underneath it um, with brown seed beads, all appliqued. Um, I have this one listed for $325. The classic white halter dress, 1970s. Um, I think I have this one listed for $99. Oh, this is from Mexico, 1940s, 1950s. It's an applique 100% wool jacket or blazer. This, of course, was the buy of the weekend. It is actually a designer gown. Um, there is one currently listed on the internet for almost $900. I listed mine for um, $5.98 due to the fact that I had a couple of small snags in it. A very pretty robe or um, peignoir from, made from Lily, in, Lily of France, um, probably 1960s. It is simply gorgeous. This is a very early Victoria's Secret uh, nightgown negligee. It is so beautiful. I think I do have this one listed for $99. I paid $15 for this mid-century modern smoking stand. Currently have it listed for $219 on Etsy. I bought a group of figurines at this same estate sale. I'm going to make my money back, but I'm not going to make a lot of money. I paid $100 for like eight figurines, but some of them were broken or cracked. So I am not, you know, I wasn't able to list them all. Oh, I love this tin mask. Made in Mexico, probably 1960s, a very popular for uh, the tourist trade. Um, I'm not quite sure what I listed him for, but I only had to pay $2. Oh, and this great tiki mug from Aku Tiki in Lincoln, Nebraska. Very popular in the 60s and 70s. Um, it actually was melted into a bunch of other tiki mugs and uh, got a good deal of $5, and I ended up getting three tiki mugs out of that massive wax melt. So thanks for watching this video. Um, I will be on vacation all of next week and not thrifting but I'll still put out a video on Sunday. 
So see you then.